Hi, this is Dr. Cormelli, and I want to talk to you about spider veins or leg veins. Um, as you know, there are many variety of factors that can cause us to get those little ugly spider veins. One of them is pregnancy, but sometimes people are just genetically predisposed and get them. Hormones can do that. People who have been on birth control for a long time are more predisposed to getting those little broken blood vessels all over their legs. Now depending on the diameter of the blood vessel, like how big the little hole inside is, we can either inject it or we can use a laser, a beam of light, to be able to deliver enough energy to be able to get that blood vessel to collapse. So what actually happens is that whether we inject it and deliver a medicine to the vessel that it doesn't like, or we give it a powerful amount of light that it also doesn't like, we are getting the cells inside those blood vessels to shrink and the body gets rid of those by absorbing them, putting them inside the circulation and getting rid of them. Now, immediately after the treatment, you actually look a lot worse because all the blood that was inside the vessel now gets splattered underneath the skin and so it gets a little red and bruised. And we all know what happens to a bruise. It can turn purple and brown and all these different shades until it's reabsorbed back. It's so important not to get any light, sunlight, or just um, even being out on a cl cloudy day onto these areas because what we don't want to do is get a process called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation when the skin actually gets darker in response to light. So after the treatment, what we want to do is Try not to exercise too much because we don't want to get bruised. If you can wear compression stockings, for the tiny ones it's okay. For the big ones, you should really wear compression stockings for about 24 to 48 hours. And try to minimize any kind of light exposure to it. Over time, in the several weeks, you'll see that they're getting reabsorbed back into the skin and they actually start improving. Sometimes we need more than one treatment. Some patients may need two to three treatments to be able to fully get rid of the blood vessels, but you will see visible improvement after each treatment. It's actually quite safe and easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And as you can see, the blood vessel blanched and it's fully treated. as you can see the blood vessel again blanched and all the ones that were connected to this one injection are treated from this just one injection we can get a bunch of vessels just like that so now we're going to demonstrate how we can use the laser to be able to get these fine little vessels so as you can see we can just put the laser right on top of it deliver a pulse of energy and get rid of the little vessels got rid of a bunch of broken blood vessels and spider veins and we're just going to see her back in four weeks to see how she's doing.